With a pat on the back, U.S. President Donald Trump and Russian leader Vladimir Putin joined their G20 colleagues for the summit's welcome photo. President Trump continued his light-hearted display for the cameras when the pair held one-on-one -on -one talks. We're going to discuss a lot of different things. Uh, we've had great meetings. We have a very, very good relationship. And we look forward to spending some very good time together. A lot of very positive things going to come out of the relationship. So, Vladimir, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This is the first time the leaders have met since Special Counsel Robert Mueller released his report on Russian interference in the 2016 U.S. election. Not that President Trump seems to be taking it too seriously. Jokes aside, there are important issues to discuss. The increased tension between the U.S. and Iran is high on the G20 agenda. So, too, is global trade. Donald Trump favours protectionism, while most of his counterparts are pushing for free and open international agreements. Tensions over trade and geopolitical risks are increasing. The G20 is responsible for taking the necessary steps to deal with these downside risks. I would like to share our resolution to use all policy tools to achieve growth. The positioning of world leaders in the traditional family photo has raised some eyebrows. Turkey's president Recep Tayyip Erdogan stands on one side of Donald Trump, with Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman on the other. The three are at odds over who's responsible for the killing of Washington Post journalist Jamal Khashoggi inside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul in October last year. Presidents Erdogan and Trump will again come face to face for much anticipated bilateral talks on Saturday. The NATO allies will discuss how to overcome a defence deadlock which threatens to derail their relationship. Turkey is pushing ahead with its purchase of the Russian S-400 missile defence shield despite a threat of sanctions from the US. How to avoid that economic backlash is likely to be the first order of business. Melinda Nusofora, TRT World, Osaka.